Good evening. My name is Kevin Bartlett, and I have been in recovery from drugs and alcohol since June 20th, 2014. I am profoundly grateful and humbled to have been given the opportunity to share my story with all of you tonight. Growing up, I was abundantly blessed. I lived in a beautiful house with my family in a beautiful town. I went on vacations, I traveled around playing sports, I attended reputable schools. I was a happy child. However, as my adolescence progressed, so too did my struggles mentally. These struggles provoked feelings of guilt and confusion within me. My drug use began during my freshman year of high school. Drugs seemed to ease my depression and numb my anxiety. My use quickly became obsessive and necessary in order for me to function. The drugs gained complete control of me. My parents' attempts at helping me were met with rage and utter disrespect, and my relationships with them became very strained as well. Once a good, respectful student, my grades plummeted, and I constantly faced disciplinary action at school. Gone was the well-mannered, fun-loving person that I once was. I became an angry, selfish, and problematic young man. My drug use became much more serious in college, and instead of chasing my dream of academic and athletic success, I spent my days chasing highs. I had come to believe I needed drugs in order to survive. After a year at Albany, I failed out of school and my scholarship was revoked. Subsequently, I accepted a Division II baseball scholarship at another university, but once again, a geographic change proved fruitless. I had failed out of my second university, and I moved back to my mother's house at 23 years old. I was utterly depressed. I hated myself for all the amazing opportunities I had squandered. I had no goals or visions for my future. I was lost. I continued to use drugs to try and get through each day as numbly as possible. Despite my struggle, I knew that deep inside me was a good person with values, morals, and potential. I wanted desperately to bring these things to the surface, but I knew I needed help to do so. And on June 20th, 2014, I reached out for that help. I took the biggest leap of my life. I was admitted into a 30-day inpatient rehab facility. While I was in rehab, my father and mother met with Father Tom and he agreed to take me in. The year I spent living on Ender's Island completely transformed my life. When I arrived there, I was a very angry and defeated young man. I was mad at myself, my situation, I was mad at the world. Father Tom and the other members of the Enders Island community are undoubtedly the most genuine, compassionate, selfless people I have ever met. And the unconditional love, love they showed me slowly washed away my anger. On the island, I was provided structure. I learned to live each day productively. I went to Mass every morning where I interacted with loving people of faith and I learned that God loves me simply because I am me. I volunteered at a soup kitchen and learned how satisfying it is to give to other people while expecting nothing in return. I attended Alcoholics Anonymous meetings every evening. I learned hard work and humility. The lessons I learned on Ender's Island are endless. If I could try to sum all of them up in one thought, it would be this. I learned that love is always the answer. When I treat everyone around me with love, when I treat myself with love, when everything I do is done with love, my life is happy, joyous, and free. Another important lesson I learned on Ender's Island is that I must leave my comfort zone in order to grow as a person. Father Tom knew that I wanted to attend college and he did everything in his power to put me in a position to do so. He introduced me to the collegiate recovery community at Texas Tech University, where Dr. Kitty Harris is a national leader. The thought of moving across the country for college was very intimidating, but my experience on Ender's Island proved to me that uncomfortable, intimidating, experiences are so very valuable. The foundation I gained at Enders Island allowed me to believe in myself enough to make the move to Texas. Today I'm a junior at Texas Tech University studying human sciences. 
For the first time in my life, I'm having success academically. I want to become a therapist to help people overcome their problems the same way so many people have helped me. I have an amazing job at a rehab, a drug rehabilitation center. I have great relationships with my friends and my family. Today, I am happy. I have so much hope for my future. Although I no longer live on Ender's Island, it will forever hold a very special place in my heart. In the community there, I will forever consider my family. I will always be in debt to each and every one of you for your role in shaping me into the man I am today. I know I speak not only for myself, but for countless others when I say, I'm eternally grateful. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Each and every one of you, by supporting Ender's Island, you're helping to save, to save lives. And thank you so much.